When setting up guided access for the first time on an iPad, you'll need to go into the Settings app. And on the left hand side, scroll down till you find the Accessibility control. In the main window that appears, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, to the general group, and we're going to tap Guided Access and activate it by turning this toggle on to green. We'll also want to turn on the accessibility shortcut here. Uh, what that does is on older iPads that had a round button on the glass screen, the home button, it'll allow you to triple click that to, to use guided access and to turn off guided access. On newer iPads, that's the top button that's used to power the device. So we've got the accessibility shortcut turned on. We have guided access turned on. While we're in here, we uh, also will want to enter a passcode. So we'll click on this and set a guided access passcode. You're going to enter this in twice uh, so they know you're consistent. Um, this is not a number you want the student to be able to easily guess, and you certainly don't want to plug this in in the student's eyesight or line of sight. Uh, if they learn this, it defeats the purpose of using it. So um, I like to use uh, my zip code for the school or home. Uh, that's five digits, so I usually put a leading zero. So I'm going to use my home zip, 015229, and then enter that one more time, 015229. And now we're ready to go. So we can get out of settings and launch whatever app uh, you want the student to use <coughs> on the device. So here I've launched LAMP, the communication app, but the student could hit the power button and get out of this uh, readily. So guided access is what's going to lock them into this particular app and they'll stay here until we enter in that code. So to do this, we'll triple click that button that we just set up. And it's indicating on screen that guided access has started. So I can say that I'm work. ready to do my work. But if I hit the power button to try and exit, uh, you'll see it tells me that guided access is enabled and it won't let me out. Um, <clears throat> so the student stays here until uh, we otherwise uh, disable this feature. To do that, we triple click the uh, button again. We plug in, without our student seeing, our passcode 015229. And now it takes us to an intermediary screen if we want to do some changes to the settings. Um, we can do that with the options button at the bottom where we can circle areas on the screen that we want to essentially make dead and inaccessible. Uh, resume at the upper top would take us back in with guided access turned on. But in this case, I'm done with my work. I want to end. So when I tap that, guided access is turned off and we're ready for our next step.